fine. Oh, don't worry, mate. You'll be there in plenty of time. I hope so. I can't run for trains like I used to. I'll see what's keeping her, mate. Come here, you. <sighs> Never thought I'd be doing this again. There was a lot of things you thought you would be doing again, but you proved yourself wrong, hadn't you? Well, about time, yeah? Oh, wish me luck. Good luck. Mm. Say bye to Daddy. <laughs> Ta-da. <laughs> Terry, just remember it's only an interview, yeah? Yeah, I know. So you're getting your hopes up, that's all. Don't worry, love. Our luck's changing. For the better. All the best, mate. So, where did you go last night? Nowhere, uh, just uh, had a few pints at the Woolly. Yeah, just the lads. Listen, I'm sorry I was so horrible to you yesterday. Yeah, I'm sorry too. Right, time I made a move. Hey, 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 where do you think you're going? I only get an hour for lunch and I'm already late. So why don't you take the rest of the afternoon off? Because that sort of behaviour won't impress the boss. Oh, that impress me. Yeah, but you can't give me a pay rise, can you? Mm, true. Listen, Danny. I'm sorry about what Rodney said. Yeah, I bet you are. Well, I don't see why any of this should affect you and me. Because Rodney's my friend and I won't do the dirty on him. The thought of sharing you with him just makes me feel sick. What? Is that what you think of me? That I'd do something like that? Rodney's me ex-brother-in-law. He's an old friend, nothing more. So, why keep it a secret from Diane? She's always been overprotective. She practically raised us. She's more like me mother than me sister. And as for Rodney, well, she doesn't trust him as far as she can spit. So why go out with him? Because he's harmless, you know that. And anyway, when he asked us for one good reason why I shouldn't go for dinner with him, what was I supposed to say? Oh, I'm sorry, I can't. I've just seduced Danny and he won't allow me. And after the time we spent together yesterday, if you really think I'd rather be with him than you, then you must be out your mind. Where are you going? Oh, Emily, this is ridiculous. Please speak to me. Could you please tell Mrs Hope that my silence will continue until she stops saying hurtful things about people? I am doing my best. What more do you want? Tell her it's up to her to find the answer to that. I hope you're going to buy that. This is a shop. Yeah, here. not a library, I know. Look who's come to see Nana Viv. Oh, here he is. Oh, I could eat you up, my little... Ooh. He hasn't. I'm beginning to think he saves them all up for me. Will you keep an eye? Say no more, my love. Consider the fort man. Hey, up. Here's another one of the walking wounded. You all right? Yeah, not so loud. Oh, shut up. It were only a few bevies. Don't be such a lightweight. <clears throat> so, you still standing? Yeah, I'm fine. By the way you were talking in the pub last night, I thought you'd be packing your bags by this morning. Ah, well, we're made up. Mug. Ah, hey, you'll know. How do you surprise her with something she's longing for when you've not got a clue what's going on in her head? <laughs> what's that you're reading? Oh, never you mind. <laughs> ah, you'll be plucking your eyebrows and having manicures next. Ah, get lost. <clears throat> Couldn't help but overhear your conversation there. Having been married for more than once, I feel it is my duty to pass on the few insights I have made into the workings of the female mind. Considering his missus should be sectioned, this will be worth hearing. It's the little things that score points. Well, that's a lie for a start. Unexpected compliments. Occasionally doing the ironing, breakfast in bed every once in a while, but not all the time. Otherwise, they start to take it for granted. Ah, I see. Often enough to keep you in the good books, but not too often. So it's still a surprise. A surprise? If Gordon had ever brought me breakfast in bed and I needed smelling salts. Now you listen up, mate. These are pearls he's giving you. Hey, since you're such an expert, what's the most spontaneous thing you've ever done? I suppose that must have been getting married in Reno. You did what? That's spontaneity. 
Post. And try not to chase me around the desk for it this time, will you? Yep. Scott, is this an F or a G? I can't make it out. There. Oh, God, your guess is as good as mine. I've seen doctor's handwriting that's more legible than Zoe's. Well, she is a vet. Yeah, she is, yeah. Hmm. You smell nice. Um, it was a present. Oh, was it? Yeah, from Terry. Oh, well, if you keep wearing it, I'm not going to be able to concentrate on my work. <laughs> so, how's your afternoon been, then? Oh, non-stop. Paperwork, phone calls, bookkeeping. <laughs> Told you. Should have stayed at home with me. I wish I had now. Well, guess what I've got at home waiting for you. What? Only, uh, a candlelit dinner, bubble bath and a bottle of your favourite wine. Really? Mm hmm Woo! Well, in that case, I'll be home at five on the dot, then. I'll see you then. See ya. Hey, Danny boy. How do I look? You Sue. You like it? Uh, that's it. Uh, uh, very sharp. I think it's a bit much. I mean, you're going out for dinner, aren't you? Well, you don't wear rags to go to the restaurant and taking her to. No, Val is a very difficult lady to impress. And that is exactly what I intend to do. Hiya. She is a grumpy cow. Who is? Katie. Every time I turn around, she's got a gob on. Do this. Don't do that. I'd have more fun living with Edna Birch. I bet she just cheesed off because she doesn't have this place to herself anymore. Probably. Do you think she's jealous of us? Hey? Why would she be jealous of us? Because we're in love. And they're like an old married couple. I really hit the jackpot, didn't I? How's that? Because I got the exciting brother and she got the boring one. Where are you going? Duh. It's going home time. Yeah, it would be if you didn't have two hours for lunch. What's all this? Invoices. Well, can't it wait till tomorrow? Well, it's nothing to do with me. Rodney wants some doing for accountant first thing. <laughs> well, he should have said something earlier, cos Sid's making me a special dinner tonight. I'll have a look at it in the morning. <laughs> Sid's cooking. Is that his punishment or yours? What's that supposed to mean, punishment? Well, you know, that drinking contest with Charles last night. I did warn him that you'd be waiting up with rolling pin. Oh, is that right? Give me those invoices then, Danny. Looks like I'm working late after all. Your carriage awaits, my lady. Oh, beautiful flowers. You should be showered with them daily. I wouldn't <laughs> argue with that. Allow me. So, what other treats have you in store for me? Uh, let's not spoil the surprise, eh? <laughs> well, Rodney, it might not be such a bad catch after all. I'll give you a lift home if you like. Oh, thanks, that'd be great. And, uh, I know it's a little bit late, but, um, happy anniversary. Oh, Scott, you shouldn't have. I know. But the cellar door was open and... I was always not going to miss the old bottle, is she? You stole it? No. I liberated it. But she's got two cases down there going completely to waste. You're terrible. <coughs> oh, no, no, leave it. Don't answer it. Let's go. No, it might be important. Hello, home for my state. Terry. Stay the night, what for? Oh, that's great. All right. OK, I'll see you tomorrow. You too. Bye-bye. Well, that sounds like you have got someone to celebrate now. Yeah, you did really well in the interview. No, I don't mean that. I mean the fact that you've got a night off. You don't have to go home and cook for anyone now, do you, eh? No, I suppose not. <laughs> so we might as well crack this open now. No point in saving it. No. No point at all. Hey!
don't want any more. Oh, go on. No, look, are you trying to get me drunk? Don't be daft. You've only had two glasses. And what were they, pints? <laughs> I remember the first time I got drunk in Spain. Right, it was my 14th birthday, and we all ended up skinny dipping in the sea. Oh, have you got any photos? I might have, but you won't be seeing him. Sport, sport. Well, I suppose I'd better get back and get TJ before your mum sets social services on me. <coughs> oh! Whoa. Oh, that was definitely the good stuff. It went straight to my head. <laughs> Come on, I'll drive you home. After what you've had to drink, there is no way I'm getting in a car with you. I would rather walk. Oh, no, you don't. There are plenty of dodgy blokes out there who'd be more than willing to take advantage of a beautiful girl walking on one around. Oh, and I'll be safe with you, will I? <laughs> oh, I forgot something. Oh, no, you can't pinch another one. Just watch me. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Zack? Something wrong with that pint? Uh, no, 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 it's fine. Only you've been nursing it for half an hour, and usually in that time, your neck three. I've been thinking about this DNA business. I wish they'd hurry up with them results. Eh? I thought you said you knew it were Keynes. Eh? Oh, it is. But I can't wait to get proof in my hands in black and white so that I can rub that Zoe Tate's nose in it. Look out, here comes Red Devil. Ah, it is a bit flat. I'll get another. You had to find you in here. Psychic, are you? No. I just thought the smell of cheap perfume. Zack? Hmm? Oh, I never get between fighting women. Especially if one's a dingle and the other's a redhead. You're after Sid. I know you are. Like I said before, Sid's only a mate. And unlike some, I don't do mates. You're a liar. And I'm telling you for the last time, you stay away from him. Nobody tells me who I can and can't see, so do yourself a favour. Turn around and walk out before they have to carry you out. I'm not afraid of you. Then you're dumber than you look. I will not have brawling in my pub. Chas, take a seat. Not as hard as you think you are, are you, love? Chloe, if you've just come in here to cause trouble, you can go back out the same way you came in. Oh, don't worry, I'm going. Good morning, you. Keep away from him. Make me. Rob! Robert! This is my house, not I a flaming napper. OK, this is Robert and Donna's home as well. Yeah, we pay you rent. What? And that entitles you to take over the place and turn it into a pigsty. Oh, Katie, calm down. No, Andy, she's right. We're out of order. Hang on! I'm sorry, Katie. It won't happen again. Come on. <sighs> Come on, Katie. He's my brother. At least try and make her feel a bit more welcome. So how's Robert settling into his new home? Ah, oh, fine, I think. Came round today, picked up the last of his stuff. But this does feel strange without him. He had to fly the nest one day. I know, just didn't expect it to be so soon. He's the same age as Andy, and he's married. Yeah, but that was different. How? Well, Andy and Katie have been together for a long time. They were more determined to be together. You mean they were in love? I suppose. And you're worried because by the looks of things, Robert isn't. <laughs> yeah. He's a boy trying to become a man. If Donna's not the right one for him, he'll find out in his own time. So don't go making any plans with his room just yet. You never know, he might be back in the nest before long. How is it you always know the right thing to say? I know, I'm fabulous, Anna. Is it the usual, Paul? Yeah, cheers, Diane. So, what's the news from Toy Boy World? Mm, there is none. I thought you were going to go after her. Yeah, well, you thought it wrong, didn't you? Oh, come on, mate. You can't give up at first hurdle. And same again for laughing boy here. Where's Val tonight? Out gallivanting. Oh, yeah? Who with? That's just it, she wouldn't say. But whoever it is, she's gone out dressed to kill. Well, your bath's cold. I'll have to send out for another pizza. Oh, stop. You're breaking my heart. You could have at least called to say you were going to be late. Yeah, and you should have told me the truth about last night. Mm. Danny told me you were with her again. Oh, how many times do we have to do this? Chaz is only a mate. Do you not think men and women can just be friends? No, I don't. Look, I mean, do you think if I was interested in her, I'd go to this much trouble for you? 
What, a bottle of wine and a pizza? Is that the best you can do? Listen, why don't I try and book the weekend in Edinburgh again? Oh, why bother? I never wanted to go there in the first place. So why'd you kick up such a stink about me cancelling it? Well, you could have come up with somewhere a bit more exciting to go. Like Bolton or Hull. Oh, such an ungrateful little cow, do you know that? My poor, aching feet. You know, I don't think I can do this anymore. I can't do what, my precious? Everything. The shop, the cafe, the kids looking after the grandchildren. And Emily's still giving me the silent treatment. Oh, she'll soon come round, love. Makes me feel old before my time. You will never be old. I will. And you won't love me when I'm all grey and wrinkly. Of course I will, my little sugar plum. What time's Dawn coming back to pick up TJ? She's supposed to be here ages ago. Maybe she's had to work late. Why? Well, as soon as she's picked him up, we will have the place to ourselves. And I've got the evening off. I've got a bottle of peppermint foot lotion. And I've got that Dr. Hook CD you bought me for Valentine's Day. When you're in love with a beautiful woman, it's hard. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 hey, oh. It's a bit early for that kind of oh. thing, isn't it, hey? I'm really sorry. If I'd have known what you were doing, I wouldn't have bashed it. <laughs> you're right, Don. I'm fine. She's drunk. No, no, we're celebrating because Terry has passed his interview. Well, shouldn't you wait for him before we start celebrating? No, he's not back till tomorrow. He's got a second interview. Do you want me to stay at yours tonight, then, love? There is no need, Dad. You give me TJ and I'm on my way. Oh, you can't look after a baby in that state. In what state? <laughs> no, you're all right. We'll look after him, won't we? Yeah, of course we will. Well, I'll see you in the morning, then. He's got to walk you home. No, he won't. No, I'll do that. No, it's all right, Bob. I've walked her this far. Right, well, come on, if you come. <laughs> nice. Well, that's ruined our plans for this evening. I hope this isn't going to be a regular occurrence. Yeah, so do I. I think you should go after them, make sure they're all right. They're a little bit drunk, Bob. They're not babies. Anyway, it's nice to see them getting on so well together. I yeah, I suppose it is, yeah. Is there really any need for all this huffing and puffing? After all, it was only a stupid bath. But that's just it. According to you, I can't even run a bath properly. I mean, there's just no pleasing you. Is that so? Yeah. And I'm sick of trying to second-guess what it is you want, cos no matter what I do for you, it's never good enough. Well, maybe you should try harder. Oh! Oh! That's it. Running off to the pub again? I'd rather go there than have to stay here and look at your whinging mug. Oh, oh. hey! There she goes. All right. <laughs> you um, all right? Yeah, I'm all right. OK. Thanks for beaming me up, Scotty. Oh, my pleasure. What was the name of that woman called in Star Trek? The, uh, the, 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 the one with the, the coil in her ear? Sulu. No, no, no. That was the Japanese bloke, wasn't it? Oh. <laughs> yeah, you do it my head in. Let me sort that out for you. Yeah. <laughs> If I'd have known Val was seeing somebody else, mate, well, I'd have, I'd have kept my big mouth shut. Oh, forget it. That's what I'm going to do. Pathetic. That's what you are. I don't know what I ever saw in you. Yeah, neither do I. You're wet. You're useless. And you're boring. Oh, why don't you just do us both a favour and go back to Scott? Oh, that's all you're good for, isn't it? Running away. All I want is a quiet life, right? And you, out of my face. Oh. Why don't you stop your belly aching and for once in your life be a man? Then again, there's a lot to be said for staying single. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Look, I can't do this. Oh, come on. No, I can't do this. Why not? Because I'm married. Oh. <laughs> I 
I've had a lovely evening. Well, it's uh, still early. Uh, you could uh, you could come back for a coffee. Maybe some other time. So you'd like to go out again? I'm not sure. I'll have to think about it. Hey, don't forget these. Thank you for a wonderful dinner. If she looks back, she's interested. But he's still looking. So good. Good one, Rodders. <laughs> you haven't lost your touch. <laughs> Thanks for an unforgettable evening. Look, I never meant this to happen. Didn't you? No! Oh, come on, we both knew that it was going to end up like this. <sighs> Nothing would have happened if you hadn't got me drunk. Excuse me, I don't remember forcing drink down your throat, do you? You took advantage of the situation. Ah, oh, Dawn, if anyone took advantage of the situation, it was you. Me? Yeah, the first time we kissed, you were stone cold sober. But if you're drunk, then you don't have to take any responsibility for what happens afterwards. Isn't that right? No. No, that's not true. We both knew that it was going to end up like this. You just lost your bottle. And in the future, you might lead on someone who isn't willing to just back off when your conscience bothers you. Yeah. And you can bet your life, whoever that is, it isn't going to be you. Now get out of my house! <laughs> Go on, get out! <laughs> 